The boy sneaked into his mother's bathroom and slowly approaching her, he put the gun on the ground. Just as he was about to remove his mother's face mask, she immediately grabbed him. The boy, frightened, struggled and grabbed a bottle nearby, hitting his mother with it before making his escape. It turned out the boy had long suspected this woman wasn't his mother. She wore a headscarf every day and never took it off, even when sleeping. She heartlessly tore up the drawings the boy gave her. If he misbehaved, she would snatch his phone and throw it into the shredder, warning him against using it. This behavior was a far cry from his previous mother, determined to uncover the truth. The boy hid behind the curtains and secretly watched his mother. He saw her sitting on the bed, trimming her toes. With a sudden force, she peeled off the skin from her foot, revealing a layer of black skin underneath, like shedding clothes. She removed the old skin and put on a new layer before heading into the bathroom. Gathering his courage, the boy picked up the gun and quietly followed her. This story is filled with mystery and tension, leaving the audience eager to uncover the truth. As the boy investigates, viewers are are drawn into his courage and determination. The man was tackled by a zombie, but his friend pulled out a camera and took a picture of them. It wasn't until the man couldn't hold on any longer that his friend finally pulled the zombie away. At this point, they still hadn't realized something was wrong with the woman, trying to warn her. But the woman continued to approach them. The man pushed her hard, accidentally shoving her into a pillar. The man was shocked. Just then, the woman slowly stood up. With a large hole in her stomach, the man and his friend turned their heads. Another chubby zombie was walking toward them. Terrified, they immediately retreated into the house. Unexpectedly, the zombies broke directly through the window. The man and his friend exchanged glances. They decided to take the initiative. The man whistled, drawing the zombies' attention. They grabbed a basket of odds and ends and threw them at the zombie. Unfortunately, it didn't cause any harm in desperation. The friend picked up a nearby record and threw it at the chubby zombie. It works. So, they moved all the records in the house, but took a long time to decide which records to throw. Seeing the zombies getting closer and closer, they finally picked up a shovel and hit the zombie on the head. The entire story portrays human helplessness and absurdity when faced with sudden horror. 